Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to first episode of a new Let's Play. In this Let's Play, we're going to be playing Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PC. As you could tell right here, uh, I'm going to actually change some options real quick. We're going to actually turn this up just a hair. I'll worry about that later. Uh, that's good for audio settings. Controller, I don't really care. I turned the mouse sensitivity down just a little bit and turned off of, uh, what is it called? Inversion. Inversion. Yeah, there we go. Whatever that is. Uh, display setup, of course, is our graphics settings in here. You can see what I'm running on. Uh, basically, maxed settings because it's a game from 2001. Language setup. Click the language. Player setup. You can actually have different player skins, which is interesting. Don't mind if I do. I don't know why or how I have those, but sure. And those are all the options. We have another option to quit the game, which I don't want to do because I want to play through it. And of course, we can start the game, which we will do right now. And we'll start a new game because I don't want to load game or delete game. I wish I could turn off my face, but I, I don't have an easy way to do it right now. shot by girlfriend accomplice that's us that's Claude his name is Claude by the way Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning as yet no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy and no group has claimed responsibility the convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion. Lighting? Was that lighting or is that a texture glitch? Revelation I don't actually know. The professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. I think it is lightning. Bonk. <laughs> Good job, Claude. Ha, ah, you yoinked the keys. God, gotta love 2001 graphics. Oh my goodness! Everybody's dead! The bridge is blown up! Oh no! And here we get our introduction to actual gameplay in a second. But first, we get a, cut, a loading screen. I almost had a cutscene. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, so we get to play now. We get to use the F button, or the return button, or the joystick button number four to drive our car. So, yes, welcome to Liberty City. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 is a game that I've wanted to play through for a very long time on video. Uh, it's going to give us a little bit of tutorials here, showing us what the map is, showing us what the other UI is and whatnot. But, yeah, I wanted to play through this game for a long time now. I actually tried to play through it uh, years and years ago on my old channel and failed, of course, because I was like, oh, it's hard. It was kind of hard, but for the most part, I was just a baby. But uh, I figured, I was like, hey, I want to start a new Let's Play to go along with the Need for Speed stuff right now. So I was like, hey... I wanted to play GTA 3, it takes two seconds to install because it's tiny, 
And uh, I've actually really wanted to start playing through these 3D GTA games. Just because I haven't yet. And by that I mean I've never played Vice City or San Andreas past like the first two or three missions at most. So, we're starting off with the original of the three 3D games, or the three original 3D games, uh, with GTA 3. And I hope you all will enjoy this Let's Play, because I know I probably will. I did actually make it pretty far through this game at one point, just kind of on a, uh, a casual playthrough back. I don't even know when, which is how I have like seven hours in this game. Uh, but I didn't finish it, so yeah, we'll, we'll work our way through this. So we're doing our first few missions here, or first mission, really. And we're going to Luigi's Club. It's kind of like a, uh, just kind of an introduction, really. I think each episode's going to go by each mission. I don't know how many missions there are in this game, but it might be a bunch of parts. I don't know. Luigi's Girls. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, okay. no one messes with my girl. So keep your hands on the wheel. Don't mess this up. Maybe there'll be more work for you. I Get didn't even didn't even notice Claude's mustache whenever I picked the skin. That's funny. But yes, we get to go uh, go pick up one of Luigi's girls, which is Misty. Just a little introductory mission just to show you basically how to drive the car, uh, how to navigate the map, so on and so forth. Pretty simple stuff. And if you were curious, oops, oh Jesus, please flip back over, shit. <laughs> ah, please don't run me over, get out of the way, I can't sprint. I don't know, how, I don't, can I sprint? No, that's a punch. Hello taxi cab, I choose you. Uh, it makes sense, because we're picking up somebody. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you've never seen GTA 3, this is going to be a hell of a time. Uh, oh, just... <laughs> there's just... There's a lot of silly shit that happens in this game. Hello. Get in the taxi. And, uh... Oh god, the voice... Co the, the recording, the sound quality? Not the best in this game, not gonna lie. Again, it's a 2001 game. Uh, I can't complain too much. Uh oh uh oh uh oh We need to go. We need to leave. I ran over the wrong person. Hello. There we go. I keep trying to say something about the fact that I have a widescreen mod in installed so I can actually have the game on widescreen. Even though I have widescreen on consoles, it doesn't on PC for some reason from the start. Uh, but there we go. We finished our first mission. And... Also, I was going to say, I do have a mod to fix the menus, like the main menu was broken uh, whenever I first started playing, something to do with Windows 10 or something, but that's fixed, uh, you can just search up the widescreen mod, I might put the widescreen mod at least in the description so you, people can find it, but that will conclude our first episode of GTA 3, I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you're all excited for a full let's play of this classic game at this point. Because it's literally 20 years old. As of this year, it's, this game is 20 years old. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.